Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a cat hut uh, or shelter. This, this type of uh, shelter is designed for stray cats uh, or homeless cats and it's best placed in sort of barns or disused buildings where such homeless cats can, can go in and uh, you know maybe you feed them there and then they, they would have such a, a shelter where they can lie in and have some warmth, especially in winters. The way the whole thing starts is with a with a with a with a moving carton. Cartons typically used when you move from one place to another, and uh, the carton here is still in its fo folded state. And uh, now I opened it up and taped it, so uh, basically looks like a hut right now, like a small hut. And uh, this open end is then the front end of that hut. Now uh, inside, in that, I placed another carton. This second carton, so, uh, sort of a flat carton, is uh, basically the bed where the cat is gonna ultimately lie in and this setup uh, here's another angle for that setup uh, so this setup is now uh, basically done what you do now is basically uh, uh, place straw inside really fill the whole thing up with straw so it looks like that here is a small hole for the cat but you can even fill it up totally with straw and I'll show you then how to uh, uh, get that hole inside for the cat but basically fill it up with straw and after doing that here's another angle of it really fill it up especially not just the bottom where the cat lies in but also the walls and the, and the, and the, and the ceiling of the, of the hut basically after after doing that what you do is I tape the front end of the hut and open and cut a hole uh, you tape you you close the front end with a, with a piece of cardboard or carton and then I uh, cut a hole in there. The hole I cut was 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And from my experience, that was enough to fit any uh, cat. Even big and fat cats would go through that hole. And uh, mind you, if you have, um, you know, I don't know, bigger cats. I mean, I mean, certain certain types of cats are like the, I think, Moncoon cats or something like that. They're like bigger, bigger than normal cats. So you might have to uh, cut a bigger hole. Don't make the hole too big because that would uh, defeat the whole purpose and a lot of heat and warmth from inside would get lost to the environment. So basically now the hut is done and what you need to do now is add some styrofoam to insulate that hut from the cold and that would look like that. Now I, you can see here the styrofoam is quite thick layers or, or panels that I used. That styrofoam is also used in buildings uh, to insulate buildings against the cold and that's exactly the type I use and I glued or taped that, that uh, styrofoam onto the carton from all sides, top, bottoms and all sides, especially the bottom because if it's going to um, uh, lie on the floor, if that, if that shelter is going to uh, stand on the floor or something, you better put some feet or add some additional styrofoam at the bottom so, so no cold gets, uh, gets transferred to the, to the to the to the inside uh, of the of the hut right after putting that styrofoam what i did is then i um, i covered that styrofoam with uh, uh, um, a cover uh, in, in this case it's a transparent cover and that protects the styrofoam from coal uh, from um, water dust and even the cat itself because the cats tend to like to scratch walls and other surfaces and if they scratch that styrofoam they're gonna damage it so with that cover that styrofoam is protected and it won't fall off and it won't get wet or dusty so basically now we come to the finishing touches and that includes uh, now the, the the whole thing is now filled up with straw you can see it better in this picture and what you do now what you do now it's filled up with straw what you do now you go with your fist in and open up a little hole in there barely enough for the cat to fit in when the cat goes in it's gonna enlarge that hole anyways through its body weight and its movement so don't make that hole too big because it's nice to have the cat being enveloped by that uh, straw if it's too big you know it defeats the purpose because it's you, you know the cat might as well lie outside so keep that straw keep that hole in the straw not too big and another thing is that with uh, extensive use that straw tends to get compressed so you know check up regularly when that when when those stray cats are around check it regularly and check out if you have to fill it up with more straw or not sometimes I notice some cats they compress it really a lot 
so I had to fill up uh, you know uh, some straw in there to keep it uh, tight again and uh, because remember that tightness is like a blanket it gives the cat additional warmth and that's the way the end product looks and what you can do you can also add a piece of cloth to half height and that piece of cloth would also stop some body warmth uh, from going out and it would ensure some ventilation going in or some fresh air going in so the cat doesn't suffocate in the hut. And uh, like I said, such shelters are ideal for one cat. If you build shelters for, for more cats, uh, you might risk that uh, those shelters are too cold. I mean, if you, build a, if you build a shelter, let's say for three or four cats and you only have one cat inside, that thing is too big for one cat. So that cat inside is gonna freeze as much as outside. So. I found the best uh, policy is to build uh, huts for one cat. If you have two cats which get along really well, okay, fine, then build it for two cats. But I wouldn't go beyond that because a, a hut, a too big a hut, is 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 uh, is no is no solution. And like I said, best place to uh, for for those huts are empty barns, especially high ledges in barns or disused buildings. Avoid putting them on the floor because. It's too dangerous for the cat. Always pick a place where the cat feels safe. And in that place, position that hut so the cat feels safe and plus has this uh, uh, you know, warm shelter which you can use.